Second line power to Eels will go up for Naomi Yallarella for Carefree Highway 6 and Jetson Stampede coming off the eight box. Here we go. Race number three. We're set. We're ready. Ready. Set. And racing, fishing for Lisa, all right, early speed, bar one, bandit, and one driving up around the outside there, that'll be that run around the outside, to Drury it was, but coming out in front inside, fishing for Lisa, Jetson, Stampede, then we get back to now to Drury, that's been followed back towards the tail of the field there, Yellow Alapara, Eels and Carefree Highway, up they come inside, fishing for Lisa, reels them in nicely, Jetson, Stampede, then we go Drury, followed back there by Yellow Alla, uh, followed back, Para Eels, and towards the tail of the field, uh, there we had to bar one, bandit, didn't kick into the race, and uh, Carefree Highway, Highway uh, back there as well. The one over the eight here as they've gone to the post. The 187 and the 4 1901. The winner's time home in 14 and 31. Uh, they're pushed along the inside four and 70 first split and has uh, done the job well there from the Mullane Kennels. Pushed home strong eight to Jetson Stampede. That's gone cheeky, hasn't it? That'll be paying all sorts of money. 30s and 440. Uh, 470 first section, 40 and 31, 90, no one, the overall trip here. They are hopping up. See straight to the lead inside here was the red rug. Five's come across and caused problems. The two wanted out. There's all sorts of problems here. The seven missed that. Just got round the outside Drury. And you can see the eight ripping into the race there late. But uh, fighting the lead in the early rush, and that's been the win for her. I got there by a half by one. The official margins, El Granson, or from uh, Gypsy Grey, Haley Mullane, and uh, the Craig Rendell team. Eight to Jetson Stampede for Gordy Wilson. Magic Sprite, Jetson Flame. And the seven, Drury, on a cheeky old race for El Cleaver. Win some cru cruiser from that girl. First four with the four. 1901 for Fishing Felisa, off for the inside in race number three. Race number four, late scratching here, six. So we'll also take out the nine and ten. And we'll have the fourth of the day at 11 after two. Thanks, Pete. 2834 Pete's numbers there in race number four, the first leg of the treble. Fishing for Lisa, 25120. Jetson Stampede, 440. Drury, 250. $23.50 for the Quinella, 259.30 trifecta. And the first four, 187 and four. $949 on race number three. 1901, the winner's time there in the third of the day from Monaco. Double 380, concession 1730, and the treble $11.70. Back to Wamaru we go now. Race five, wrapping the early quaddy. Springbank handicap trot, a rating 5280. Mark Cooks, and we're back with you. Good on you, Matt. Thank you. You're five minutes away, just the five runners from race number five on the card uh, here with the scratchings of Red Hot Rocket and also the Dominator, who was uh, an impressive winner again on a Friday evening. Possibly out for a spell now, I think. The Dominator after that win. Margin wasn't by much, certainly on Friday evening. But here, that leaves Red Hot Poker as the favourite. Uh, information from the stewards, and we spoke to Graham Telfer, had that uh, gastric ulcer treatment Subsequently, following the run at Ashburton last time to the races where he was beaten 14 lengths, so he's had that treatment. So it'd be interesting to see where he's at as a result of that. $2.60 in this final leg of the quaddy. We'll check the will pays for you fairly shortly where they're all in single figures. Uh, just had uh, a Delonkum go down in that first leg of the quaddy and a $24 winner uh, for the Kennets getting the victory there in that first leg and we've gone okay since and had the field here it's only a small one at that 330 about pyramid magic uh, the phil williamson stable looking for a double this time uh, maddie williamson will drive a uh, pyramid magic after tyree miss took the first race of the day so the stable looking for another win and this son of ambro invasion nice performance last time to the races just Came with a barnstorming finish, one by five lengths. Beat Dusky Year three starts ago, uh, or sorry, uh, back in uh, June, late June, did trial him behind the Dominator and then went to the races, ran fourth, uh, beaten 14 lengths by Kiwi Crusher, but took a lot of improvement first to second up to win in a rating 40 to 80 last time to the races. This one a rating 56 to 80. Small field, 20 metres. And certainly a chance. They've all got chances. Dusky Ears off the front. A winner three starts ago uh, where it led that day off the standing start. Uh, one by six lengths. Subsequently has had two placings. 
uh, when up in grade. And Blair Orange has driven subsequently since it won with Robbie Close. Uh, Blair takes the drive for owner trainer Ricky Allen, runner number two, a seven year old son of Al Sue out of Era Parent. Uh, Trick Stars, the other one off the front, Sam Otley and Brent White. He's a 10 year old now, so he's uh, the old boy in this. He's a start number 73, son of Sundon. He's at sevens. And number four, Grey Power, is uh, up from the south with Nathan Williamson. Has won six from 44. Uh, certainly in his previous uh, years and preparations, Grey Power, he was pretty good in the south. He's placed twice in his last five starts. And last time to the races, he was a mistake maker. And he went roughly two starts ago as well. He, in fact, his last three starts, he's uh, made mistakes in the run. So he's certainly not the grey power of uh, previous years, the son of Monkey Bones. He's uh, the lone runner off uh, the 10 metres with the Dominators scratching.